Hey, how you doing, guys? Um, just before I start my uh, topic for this week, I uh, just want to let you know the uh, I did an unboxing of the uh, Miticon 35 millimeter 2.0 um, Creator series, and uh, I know it's been taking a while, but um, we're filming the uh, review of that uh, right now uh, due to uh, an illness uh, and a couple other things. Uh, testing out the uh, lens on different cameras and we need to be shooting outside uh, too for testing and the weather hasn't been uh, uh, cooperating with us but that's going to be coming up uh, hopefully by next week um, try to do the best uh, demo review I can in the meantime um, I really wanted to talk about um, mobile devices in particular the uh, new iPhone X or excuse me 10 and it seems nowadays for phones mobile devices is we're using passwords less and less. And uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about the history of that. Of course, the uh, iPhone 10 now has a true depth camera, which allows uh, facial recognition. Now, Android came out with this uh, many years ago, um, but basically it was just a two, uh, utilizing a 2D picture. And unfortunately, it wasn't very... Um, secure because uh, people actually bypass it by using pictures you just simply get a picture of that person in front of the camera and it often would bypass the security options um and then of course uh, apple uh they also came out with uh fingerprint uh recognition out in in many mobile phones before and then of course apple uh actually got one that worked quite well for the iphone and then Android come out with their own version right after that. Unfortunately, they kind of rushed that and uh, it didn't work too well. The next version um, worked pretty much uh, just as easily as the uh, um, compared with the iPhone. And uh, of course, with this um, iPhone 10 using the true depth camera, it's a much uh, better version simply because it takes a 3D representation versus a 2D and which is much harder to uh, replicate. Um, that's why you have to move your phone when you're calibrating it for your face to move it all the way around to take a uh, 3D picture using various data points on your face. And then of course they tried uh, during their initial testing prototypes, then they used face masks to see if they could bypass the security and uh, so I thought it was very interesting kind of to talk about this because um, supposedly there's speculation that Android may actually start moving back again to uh, facial recognition. Of course, it's competition between Android and iOS, uh, uh, the iPhone. Speculations they're going to move away from this back to fa facial recognition, but they're from what I hear, they're actually a couple of years away from actually utilizing this. Um, but supposedly they were supposed to come out with a retinal scan uh, using uh, the cell phone's camera as well. So I was kind of wondering what happened to that. They, they kind of uh, changed ship uh, on that. Um, but I, I thought that was kind of unique, just the way mobile devices are getting away from passwords. Uh, and of course, um, passwords are easily forgotten because they have to be changed on a regular basis. And something like a fingerprint, facial recognition, and things like that make it much easier. You don't have to worry about trying to remember it, changing it all, all the time. Um, so these new technologies would uh, make it easier for somebody like me who has short-term memory problems to... Uh, don't have to worry about that as much anymore but uh, give me your thoughts uh, on this topic and uh, for the next video see you guys later and uh